What was the worst incident that happened when it came to physical abuse? The time when he pulled my hair and he kicked me and... Where did he kick you? In the leg. Um, threw me against the wall, threw me out of the house. But the worst out of all of that was him taking our children out of my arms and when I couldn't get to them. And I just prayed that he one day didn't turn his aggression on them. Could you predict what it was that might provoke these sorts of reactions or it could be anything? It could be anything. Um, so I started, you know, obviously walking on eggshells a little bit more, but I knew it wasn't him. I knew that it, he's never, he would never been like that. And every time after, he would always say, I don't know what's wrong with me. Something's wrong with me. And he would every time be like, please do not leave me. I need your help. Something's wrong with me. Every time. He's like, I can't control myself anymore. He showed concern. He showed remorse. Every time. Every time. And were you forgiving? Absolutely. Because I knew, it, I knew he wasn't that person. I knew that something was wrong with him and he couldn't control himself anymore. And it was more forgiving in the sense where I love you and we're going to get through this together and we're going to figure out what's going on and we're going to fix it. Did you for a minute think, boy, maybe I didn't know this man as well as I did. Maybe there's a history of mental illness in his family. Maybe he needs some medication. No. No. I felt like I had known him long enough where I knew him and I knew that wasn't him and knew there was something wrong and we just didn't know what it was. You didn't think this could be attributed to his natural chemistry? No. Did you think that it was a direct relation to his playing football? I started to, after his last concussion, I started to suspect that. 